A Springdale woman, along with her husband, have both been charged in the death of her mother. On Monday, March 4th, emergency services were called to a home on Underfill Lane in Springdale. Now, when emergency services first responders got to that home, they found a woman named Loretta Mullinex, who was 78 years old. Loretta had injuries all over her body. She had them on her back, her arms, her legs, her stomach. First responders said that she smelled like feces and urine. Loretta Mullinex was living with her daughter, Sandy, and Sandy's husband, Gary Kennedy. Now, Sandy would not allow medics to take her mother to the hospital. She, Sandy just wanted for her mom's vitals to be taken, which is a very expensive way to have your vitals taken. Medics described Loretta as being barely alive and said that she was lying in a fetal position. Sandy, Loretta's daughter, said that her mom had been lying in that position for at least the last three months and that she hadn't seen a doctor in over a year and a half. Medics did go ahead and transport Loretta Mullinex to the emergency room where emergency staff said that she was in extreme atrophy, that they couldn't adequately move her arms and her legs. Police did get a call around 2.30 a.m. on March 5th that Loretta Mullinax had died, and Gary Kennedy and his wife Sandy, who was Loretta's daughter, were taken into custody and charged with manslaughter and first-degree endangering the welfare of an incompetent person. They are being held in the Washington County Detention Center, and they each have a $150,000 bond. If you actually need to hear this, let this be a reminder that we can't just let our elderly family members rot and die. They are people too.